Hey there, all you Rough Rider enthusiasts out there. I received this uh, traveling knife. There's a couple here. Last week from Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. He was the last one to view it. Uh, this traveling knife series is brought to you by Ray North Star Reviews. Excuse me, North Star Knife Reviews. Very cool guy, a really nice channel. I thought it was pretty cool that he sent uh, two at once, both green knives to uh, save on shipping. Uh, this is an older Rough Rider. It is green gunstock. It's got like the gunstock pattern. The diamond. Really nice green bone. It's not just a synthetic, it's a bone. And this is the older style Rough Rider. It's got a really cool old shield here. You can see that. Um, this has no half stops. The fit and finish is really good. The back springs are really nice. You know, uh, nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver pins, probably stainless back springs, brass liners. Uh, do notice a little bit of stepping here. But, you know, it's a Rough Rider. Not that big of a deal. Uh, seeing how the back springs are so nice. Blade centering is pretty decent on this. Actually really good. Like the main blade's off to the pile side just a hair. But no rubbing. Really nice pull on this. It has the old horseshoe tank stamp. Feels like a slight hollow grind. Forgot to get paper, because I'm sure it's sharpened up super sharp. Very nice trapper. You can't find these anymore. Like, even eBay, I couldn't find it. You might be able to find some on the secondary market somewhere. Um, I think I did see a brown version of this gun stock for sale. But the screen's pretty nice. And very rare. And like I said, this is an old pattern. It's a uh, model number, I don't even think I could see it last time, it's kind of worn away. Yeah, I zoomed in and took a picture, I'll put it in the description. Very cool knife. So if you get a chance, check out Ray North Star Reviews channel. Pretty awesome. Now this slip. Is made by John at J.O. Ventures Outdoors. And every time I see his work, it just blows my mind. Like, just the quality of work. He does cool patterns. Like, this has the kind of gunstock pattern in it. He does the crisscross. The green matches it. He puts a nice green bead on there. This is a wood bead. Um... Uh, he must, I'm thinking he must do, uh, what, water forming, where you have the knife in there and you kind of form it, because it just fits this sheath like a glove. Just perfect. Um, he currently just made a slip for my traveling knife. So if you want more information about him and how to get a hold of his products... Uh, here's his card. You can pause it and check it out. But yeah, he did the slip for my traveling knife. I asked him for a slip for my Caribbean saw cut um, sod buster. And he's custom making a slip for my frost uh, stag bone. So yeah. There's a lot of, you know, slip makers and leather workers in the community. Georgia Adventure. Randy's WSG is getting into it. Sarah Dinan. Um, and everybody.
everybody's just doing really nice stuff. But I, for months and months, I've been wanting to pick up something from John. So I definitely went to him first. I'm not trying to play favorites. I'll have to get a little from everybody. But uh, I'm very, very impressed with J.O. Venture Outdoors. His leather work is incredible. So yeah, I mean, this is a basic trapper by Rough Rider. I have a tobacco bone here. You can see they're almost exactly the same, except the bone covers and the shield. Um, they do have uh, smaller bolsters in the back. No stamp on the front. I love those old ones. This one actually has a little bit more gap than this one. And, yeah, like I said, they don't have half stops. But my case, full-size trappers also do not have half stops. So, you know, nothing new. But these are great quality knives for 12 to 15 dollars 17 dollars depends on where you get them a good working trapper like i like the heavy forge it has it does have half stops very cool knives so before i forget the other knife this is the uh Hultafors. very similar to amora now these are like 15 to 20 dollars on Amazon. Uh, I was pretty blown away by this patina and it turns out that Ray did a mustard patina on it. That's why it has such a cool pattern. Um, carbon blade. It's like a giant Mora. Look at that blade stock. The handle actually feels better than my Mora, probably because I have bigger hands. The Mora, the Mora fits really nice, but this, this is like a total bushcraft knife. But look at the difference in blade stock. Now this won't slice a tomato quite as good as this, but you know, we all have different purposes. These are great just hunting, fishing, bushcraft beaters for under $20. This is also carbon steel. I actually won this from North Star Knife Reviews. When he was on Happy Hour Live. So very thankful. It's my first Mora with a carbon blade. But this. Like I I may have to do some shorts on uh, testing it. It is very, very sharp. It's a good heavy duty. Good grip. You know it comes with a nice solid sheath for it. Very cool knife like you know for just hunting and fishing you don't really need all these hundred dollar two hundred dollar knives they're nice to have but if you lose this you can just get another one on amazon fifteen twenty dollars i mean and that blade stock just look at that this is one heavy duty bushcraft knife. Now granted a lot of people do like their wood handles, their bone handles, and I understand that. But you know some people are just more practical and prefer just a workhorse and this would be a great one. So thank you very much Ray North Star Reviews for allowing me to be a part of this. Thank you very much John for all the slip work you've done. I just saw it today on Instagram, and I'm pretty blown away. I'm very happy, and this is another amazing piece. I think it really sets off the knife so well. I love the die work. I love how the edge work you do on everything. <clears throat> I think you, I gotta ask you about how you tan the leather and stuff like that. Just very cool. Um, I'm not quite sure who's this going to go to uh, next. I have a few people in mind. Ray mentioned a few options. Um, but I'm not sure yet. So it will be a surprise. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is my traveling knife. Two for Tuesday. Have a good one.